All right, so let's do a little update on some of the trees I got going on over here. Uh, my variegated ficus benjamina. Probably should trim this up and put it in some fresh bonsai soil at some point. Uh, then the other part, I got this at the same time, the other ficus benjamina. What I use as the silhouette for the image for the bonsai channel. Oh, one of my faves, the uh, Dawn Redwood. Dawn Redwood's looking pretty awesome. Just look at that bark. All right, the apple tree, getting some nice new growth. Doing well. All right, the lemon tree. Ah, it's doing okay. Just okay. Got a little bit of growth and it stopped. It's still hanging out. I think it's uh, getting a little bit too much sun, so I might put it out in the shade a little bit. All right, another lemon tree here. So this is the first time I've collected moss and put it on, and I'm pretty happy with it. I don't have a lot of moss in my area where I live, but it looks pretty awesome. The lemon tree is growing nice. So, yeah. Okay, the beech tree or the copper beech, not 100% sure. Looking pretty good. I uh, might need to up pot this one next year. I feel like it's a little small. So my other beach, I'm pretty sure is dead. So kind of sad. All right, my root over rock Chinese elm, which I believe is Chinese elm that I found. Or American elm, not sure. Definitely growing back. All right, this is a little coffee tree that my mom got me. I think Arabic, I think this is a Arabic coffee tree. So at some point I wanna take these out and put them in their own individual containers, put them in some fresh bonsai soil. But yeah, they look awesome. They're super shiny, look at that shine. Here is the Eastern Red Bud. This thing is huge. The roots on this are pretty crazy. Definitely gonna be doing some more root work on this next year. But yeah, it is growing very well. All right, the ginkgo biloba that I got from Thirsty Boot Farms. Doing really well. Kind of just a stick in a pot, but one day it'll be better. All right, and wow, this one has put on some growth this year. Look at that. Summer has been kind to the kiwi. Compared to what this thing looked like earlier this year, this is ridiculous. Look at the size of those leaves. Now it is a vine, so it's not a tree. So we'll see how this goes and create this into a bonsai. We have this little lemon tree that I got as a cutting a while ago, and it's doing all right. I'm pretty sure this one is a cutting. It's hard to tell. I'm, I'm bad with keeping track of that. But yeah, lemon tree is growing okay. Definitely going to repot this next year, put in some bonsai soil, because it's still in its garden soil right there. So yeah, there we go. 
All right, my Portulacaria afra is getting a lot of summer growth, but you can tell that's only seen on one side. I keep it under my porch, so I'm going to have to rethink this a little bit because look at that. It definitely has a really bad side right there. So I am going to rethink this one because I don't want it to just be all one-sided like that. Look at that. That's kind of ugly. So going to be rethinking this porch of the after here um, where I put it. But I don't want to keep it outside because uh, I don't want it to get rained on unless I take it outside, inside every time it rains. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Work in progress. All right, we got the Jade Crassula. It's looking pretty good, getting kind of heavy. Might have to trim this one back a little bit, but uh, looking pretty good. My English U, um, aerial roots. Uh, I don't see anything yet, but uh, we shall find out eventually. Take a look at this English U. Like, look at the, look at the bark on it. Uh, this thing is old, old, old. Super old. Yeah. Very cool. Here is the Kentucky coffee tree. Growing nice. I'll probably just keep this in the pot. I don't know if I'll ever turn it into a bonsai. Probably just keep it as a little, little tree. Uh, Eastern red bud. Looking pretty good. I don't think I ever did anything with this, but this is my uh, mulberry, cascading mulberry tree. Scythia, definitely getting a new, uh, new bit of growth. Another acacia tree that is getting quite large. Apple tree, definitely putting out more growth, doing well. And here's a little tiny trident maple that I got, like I'm growing from seed. Um, so this one, I'm excited to see what happens with this in the future. Elm tree is getting pretty big here. Gonna have to trim that one up soon. I got, uh, some of these little avocados are doing well. Another one here. This guy might be coming back to life. Lemon tree right there, a new juniper that I just picked up. So we'll see how that goes. The acacias. Oh, my seeds just hanging out in the bag. Pretty sure that this is dead. This is the uh, uh, Kentucky coffee tree. So yeah, um, it hasn't done anything all year. So pretty sure that's dead. Uh, junipers aren't looking so good these days. That one hasn't done anything all year, and this one started to be was started green and is now uh, all browning up. So I'm a little concerned about that one. Acacia trees doing well. All three acacias here. A little lemon tree that uh, uh, that was I'm not sure if that was a cutting or if that I grew from seed. Either way, it's just been growing super slow all year, all summer. So. Um, this one, this is the avocado tree that um, was actually the mutant avocado tree. Uh, you can see right there where all that scarring is happening. Uh, that's where all those little white leaves were. And now it's, uh, you know, definitely not a mutant tree anymore. So definitely recovered. And actually it has a branch right there and the leader back there. But it looks like, actually, if you look here closely, it looks like you can still see some of that mutant white leaf right there, the albino. So it still has remnants of it, but uh, 
Definitely doesn't look like it anymore too much. Uh, another avocado tree here. It's interesting how this is growing up, 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 and then coming down, cascading. And then one more avocado tree right there. So yeah, that's all the trees for today.